All right, guys, how's it going today? It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Got a nice light snow up in the Cascades. We've still got some uh, sunshine on the snowy mountains behind me. Just glorious, no wind. The U.S. has been hit by a brutal, brutal Arctic system. Just pumping lots of Arctic air deep into the continent and it's locking up our ice lakes uh, really well. So I'm taking advantage of it. Gonna look for some perch today through the ice and do a little uh, Bloody Marys and spicy fried perch on the ice this morning because it's never too early for uh, Bloody Marys and fried perch. So let's start punching some holes and see if we can find some fish using the panoptics. pretty blank here so I'm gonna use the panoptics to look around me see if I can't find a school of perch not seeing anything not seeing anything Ooh, there's a big school see it that's what's so cool about panoptics so I know that 20 30 feet in the direction that's pointing towards that red hut there's a bunch of perch so I'm gonna walk over there and 20 30 feet and punch a hole all right so there we go they're just a little bit off the hole there but i'm sure i can draw them in uh just fishing they're about five feet away so i was about five feet off or they might have moved a little bit when i drilled the hole not a problem There's fish right there. There we go. There you go. Got one. First one of the day. Not a giant, but still take it. I'll tell you, the camera makes such a nice difference being able to watch them underwater come and take it. Here comes fish. Missed. There's a bunch of them down there. Oh, missed it. Come through in big schools. Got him. Nice. He's hailed that thing. There we go. Another one. And I got my bait back. Let's get down there where the school's still here. They are staying tight to the bottom. Oh, here it comes. It's a good sized perch. There we go. Got him. This feels like a good sized one. Oh, yeah. That's decent. There you guys see, I'm just using a little Acme. Hunks and jig, chartreuse, tipped with wax worm. I've got a bunch of other baits that I'll try today. Not a bad sized fish though. Oh, that's a trout there. Don't want no trout. You know, oh, I got him. Dang it. Couldn't keep him away. It's a trout. Wouldn't even need a spring bobber for that kind of hit. Whew, another nice one. Yeah. There we go. 
feels like a good one. Uh, whoa, whoa. I suddenly woke up, eh? I'm not sure what this is now. It must be a big trout. What is this? It's fighting weird. It's not fighting like a trout. It's a sucker fish. <laughs> That's funny. Big old sucker fish. Look at that thing. Like it fought so weird. I was like, what is that? All right. See you later, sucker. All right, so I've got 15 perch here. The limit on this lake is actually 25, but um, my personal limit is 15. I just don't like cleaning 25 fish in a go. It just gets tiresome. But I'm really fun watching them on here. You can actually see there's a little school still right here off to this side. I'm moving. That's my camera there. And then here you can actually, I'm using my camera to see the fish. There's some fish actually just below the camera right now. It's just about lunchtime, so I think I'm going to fillet up a few fish and have a little lunch out on the ice. Alright, so I'm going to do a little short lunch today and the theme is going to be Bloody Marys. So, i got my favorite distiller's little canned Bloody Mary mix. Check this out, it's been chilling on the ice all this morning. I love the acidity and tang of Bloody Marys with fish, so this will go like a great combination. Anything tomato and fish is always good. Okay, so the actual Bloody Mary mix that's in these dry fly Bloody Mary can mixes comes from a company called Spiceology in Spokane. And if you love cooking with flavor, definitely need to check out their stuff. They have over 300 different spices available. They even have some really cool custom mixes from like Meat Eater, uh, where they've got like specific mixes for venison and for fish. Definitely worth checking out. They've got uh, just tons of stuff, like basically any spice you could imagine. So if you love putting spices on meat, definitely check out their stuff. So this is their Bloody Mary mix, which you can buy. And I've discovered that if you put this on perch and then put a little bit of flour on it and fry it, it's so tangy and spicy. It's got a nice kick to it. Super delicious. So that's what we're gonna do for our catch and cook today is some Bloody Mary perch. So I got my really cool little Openel foldable fillet knife. It's got a nice flexible blade on it super sharp you just lock it in with this little collar right here it's nice super sharp uh, I've got to be careful not to go through the spine and then just use that there we go Now I'm going to douse them with this Bloody Mary mix. Just lightly dust them. And next I'm going to throw them into a bag with some flour. Alright, it's time to get the oil going and get the oil nice and hot and the pan nice and hot and we'll get these fried. To test if the oil's ready, I'll just take a little bit of flour. If it starts fizzing right away, then it's probably good to go. Go ahead and kill it. And we'll grab our fish. Mm, that looks good. All right. Well, the perch turned out awesome. Super golden. Super crunchy. Really tangy from that Bloody Mary mix. 
I'll put links to Spiceology. If you love cooking, you can definitely spend a lot of money on that website, so be careful. I'll also put links to Dry Fly Distilleries in Spokane. These are both Spokane-based companies. Dry Fly really came through for the city of Spokane during the early parts of the pandemic and was giving away free hand sanitizer. They were making hand sanitizer and giving it away to first responders and hospitals and nurses. It was just awesome. Super cool company. They make delicious, delicious whiskey. And not too bad. Bloody Mary's in the can, too. All right, guys. I'll see you next time out on the ice. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye, guys. Cheers. Thank you.